Hello there, this is Trippin' Witty, and I'm going to do a tutorial video on Eider RPG. Uh, I'm not going to show off a whole lot of player models, or character models, or... Uh, I'm not going to go through every single weapon and every single tool and try to figure out what special ability it uh, harnesses. I'll, I'll leave that to you, but I will go over some of the basics of the mod. And uh, basically... Uh, everything that the mob page has to say, uh, I put into this video so I could go over it real quick. In case you didn't want to do a whole bunch of reading, there's this. Anyways, we have the am Amitrine block, uh, which is, let's set it to toggle game mode. Here we go. So... If you find either this or this ore here, you can mine it and get these shards. These shards are used for all kinds of crafting in this mod pack. Now, you'll want to find this as well. This is Void Quartz and uh, mine some of it up. I think you can mine this with an iron pickaxe or better. Uh, now, the crafting recipe here will make you and Amitrine Ingot, and you'll need plenty of those for this mod pack. Uh, we'll get back to that. So we also have geodes ins added to the game. Now you can get them from killing mobs, or you can get them from mining them. These are the different kinds that, that come. You have stone, deep slate, netherrack, blackstone, and endstone. Uh, they all have geo variants. And now if you mine this up, you get some geodes right and to break them you put the pickaxe in your off hand and hold the geode in your main hand and right click and it'll give you ores and stuff like that all right so oh yeah i'm like where'd my pickaxe go all right there we go you can build a drill which let's go here uh oh, there we go. Uh, at Eider RPG. So a drill can be built. The crafting recipe is right here. It's a little expensive. It takes some redstone and a hopper. But if you set a geode mined with a silk touch pickaxe, or I guess just found and left, you can start a little mine. I've had this one going for a little while. It's given me some instone geodes. So, it will slowly pull geodes out of the geode rock indefinitely, and it will give you a little source of ores and blocks that you can use. Oh, yeah. Ah, you get some in loot as well, it looks like. Alright. So, spawning naturally in the world and in some of either RPG structures, you can find these ancient vases. Now, when broken, they give you all kinds of good stuff. You got some copper, some gold, some gold nuggets, some gunpowder, some iron nuggets. You know, basic dungeon loot. And uh, you can also find spider eggs in the spider caves, which they've added a new mob, the giant spider. And uh, there might be a couple other spider variants, but you can find spider caves that have these instead of pots in them. And you break them for the same stuff. Just dungeon loot. It looks like it uh, it drops spider silk, rotten flesh, bones, string, uh, so not typical dungeon loot. I've got a lot of mods installed right now. Uh, it's for my mod pack, The Great Big Adventure. It's uh, on CurseForge right now, if you're interested. It's uh, not a t it's far from a tech mod. Uh, it doesn't really have any complicated... The most complicated mod that's in it is Botania. And uh, uh, I won't spend too much time talking about it. Anyways, when you break these vases, you get pot shards. And then pot shards you use to craft... Clay, vases, which can be used as decoration items. Uh, you might even be able to... No, it doesn't look like they have an inventory. Alright, moving on. We have... Magnum Ore. 
Magman Magmanum Magmanum and when mind sets you on fire. I forgot about that. So when mind, it has a plethora of terrible effects that it can bestow upon you. Uh, it can also explode. So be careful. Make sure you have good ar ar armor on when you go to mine this stuff up. But it gives you magmanum chunks. Magmanum chunks are used to craft things like this armor set. The sword here. And I believe the armor set probably has a bonus effect. With, like uh, the hell set. It gives you uh, fire immunity. The sky boots. I'm assuming feather falling. The ocean set gives you uh, dolphin's grace. And the forest set. I could not figure out what was going on with the forest set. Alright, so you're probably wondering where these elements are coming from, and that would be the earth element, the water element, the air element, the fire element, and the void element. All these things will spawn in your world. Uh, the fire element spawns in the nether, the void element spawns in the outer end islands, the air element will spawn in the tops of mountains and in the sky, the water element will spawn in the ocean and on beaches, and the earth element spawns in lush caves. So that's where you'll find those and you will get these elements from them. The elements are used in these guys, right? So you go... Oh. So you'll need to find arcane flowers. Yo, I don't know where to find them. I'm sorry, I wish I could help you with that. You'll find arcane flowers. Uh, you'll mix them with redstone, lapis, and an emerita shard, and that will give you four arcane powder. Arcane powder is used a lot in this mod pack, uh, or mod. Let's see here. So you'll want to craft a blank ruin with void quartz, amtrine shards, a, a geode. So make sure you save your geodes. And uh, you'll use this to craft the forest ingots, right? So to get a earth rune or a rune of the respected uh, type, you'll have to surround it by uh, elemental fragments. And that'll give you the earth rune, which you can then use to make your different ingots, which takes an amtrine ingot and uh, the element along with the uh, earth rune or the rune of the respected type. Uh, the mod also includes a super elemental ingot, which is all of the elements combined. Uh, I do not know how to use this. I, I've looked around. Uh, I guess maybe it was implemented in a future update, but it's not a part of 1.18.2. Uh, so, now, another thing that this mod adds is lots of magic uh, spells and weapons. So you got like the smoldering tome, which is pretty cool. You got uh, the hydra, you got the thunderclap. Oh my! They each have cool, unique spells and a cooldown time. The hydra shoots. Oh, I'm in peaceful mode, so it won't work. But the hydra, it shoots an orb that explodes. And when it explodes, uh, the fragments fly out and do damage to the player. Okay, so now you're probably wondering how you get mana. You're probably not wondering because I didn't mention that you need mana to use these. Now, there's three different ways to get mana. You can make an arcane flower, which takes corn flower, poppy, and a dandelion, and an arcane flower to make the arcane bouquet which will give you a small amount of mana and a small amount of mana regen. The Amtrine Geode, which is made like this. Cobble, cobble Deep Slate, huh? All right. Um, that will give you a medium amount of mana and a medium amount of mana regeneration. And then you've got Possession, which is made like this. Wither Skeleton Skull, some Magma Chunks, a Demon Bone, which is one of the mobs in uh, Eider RPG in the Nether. You'll find demons. Um, 
So you go ahead and make your possession and equip that in the charm slot, and you'll start gaining mana and uh, a pretty good amount of mana regen. All right, and there's one last thing I want to show you in this mod pack. It's a, uh, the biggest structure that's added. Let's see here. I wonder what the rock's used for. Let's see here. You throw it. Nice. Does it do damage? It does. I got an achievement for that. Alright, so we're going to hop into the nether here. Woo! So I'm not going to go into... Where is it? Over here? Alright. There's the tower. So you got these big towers. They're so large they have to spawn in in three different sections. There's quite a few of them. If I bring up my map, there's one here that I'm looking at now. There's three over here. And uh, so you'll have to make your way to the top of this tower to the chest that's located at the top. And there's a dropper that has a crystal tier in it. The crystal tier you will use to unlock... Where is it at? This guy right here. There's a door on the very bottom layer, and in order to get through the door, you need to acquire this crystal tier. As you can see, it disintegrates the door. Alright, so, and, and then you can start the boss fight. But I'm not going to show you the boss, I'm not going to... You'll have to find that out on your own. Um, I don't want to spoil anything. I want, I want, I want there to still be some mystery left. It's a pretty amazing mod they've made, and uh, I want you to discover some for yourself. But I was hoping to show you how to use some of the basic mechanics of the game and how to get started uh, with your own magic spells and and becoming a mage in Minecraft. Uh, um, yeah. That's that's about all I wanted to go over. Uh, oh, yes. There's one more thing. Let's see. Is my portal this way? I think it's this way. You know what? I don't think it's this way. Let's go to my map. Map. I think it's this way. Whew. Yeah, the nether looks pretty crazy. It's uh, Infernal Expansion, I believe, making my nether look like that. Alright, so we got one more block to talk about. The Twiffle block. The Twiffle block will... The Twiffle block is constantly looking for sources of food. So things like water, or uh, let's go here, let's get us uh, some logs, now let's find some bone meal, I think it works like this. Nope, can't bone meal. Or am I bone mealing it? And it's not working. Anyways, the, the Twiffle block will expand to water sources or food sources like wood. And it will use these food sources, once it's full enough, to grow a Twiffle. Which, as you can see, has an insane amount of saturation. 72 bars worth of it. So... Definitely worth trying to figure out these twiffle blocks. Um, I don't have enough time. So I'm going to end the video here. I know it was a short one. Uh, I didn't go over the entire mod. I didn't go over all of the different mobs. I didn't go over all the different weapons and their abilities. Um, I'll let you find that out on your own. But I've taught you how to craft them and how to use magic to become a, a mage or a... Um, 
elemental user. So, yeah. Have fun, and enjoy the rest of your day.